Hey, how you doing today? My name is Riley, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we are talking about an interview between Blue SR and Leth, who is the Hollow Knight and Team Cherry marketing director. This is a guy who knows, and this is a guy that you want to know. If you want to know all about the Hollow Knight Silk Song release date, all that kind of good stuff, this is where we're going to get pretty much all of the information that we could possibly even want to get. So, as you know, as of today's date, we don't have any Hollow Knight Silk Song news, but we're going to break down this interview and kind of see what we can pick out of it. Maybe we can get an, an idea or at least some sort of mental framework of an updated release date or at least some sort of like window that we can we can work with. You know, it, it it'll help. I think so first off a little bit of history I like to start it off like, like where where have we been um battered and bruised um uh, wearing our clown makeup and and just breathing in all that copium hoping that Silk Song is going to come out soon that's where we've been right uh in E3 2022 we got news that Hollow Knight Silk Song was going to come out within a year. At least that's how we read it and perceived what was coming out, right? And for good reason. Xbox put out a statement saying that everything that was shown in the Xbox Game Showcase on June 12th, 2022, all of that was going to be available to play within a year. So we all believed that Hollow Knight Silk Song fell underneath that. And then we weren't quite sure, like, hey, you know what? Team Cherry didn't say anything, so maybe it's not true. But then Simo, who is a playtester for Hollow Knight Silk Song, I'm pretty sure, added to the tweet in the Hollow Knight announcements that the tweet is genuine and accurate. So. As far as a lot of us are concerned, Simo is part of the Hollow Knight community, but even more so because he's a play tester, he's close enough to the development team and would know that that tweet was genuine and accurate. So we were all going along with this one year release date window. Well, that window has come and gone, but we have broken the silence when Blue did this interview with Leth. So let's go ahead and jump right into this interview. I shouldn't say I knew, but I suspected we were going to have to announce a, you know, a delay, like the game, that the game wouldn't come out by June 12th, which was kind of the expectation that was running around. Mm-hmm in the the fan circles for good reason I, like i explained why we thought it was going to release within a year but i wonder exactly when leth knew that they were likely going to have to delay i i mean i'm i'm hoping he didn't know like as soon as they announced it at e3 um but we're going to learn a little bit more about how that release window came to be essentially it went down like we were talking Ooh. with microsoft before E3 in 2022. Okay. And they just asked, you know, are you guys planning on releasing in the next 12 months? Or, you know, by this time next year? It was before, obviously, it was before E3. And we're okay. just like, yeah, uh, I, think that's, <laughs> I think that's the plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so then you have this, uh, this message go out kind of turned into a release window although you know i don't know but i necessarily agree with that but so that's kind of interesting they had such like a nonchalant uh conversation with microsoft to say yeah yeah w within a year like, like like that sounds that sounds about right in my mind and one of the reasons why i was like so sold that hollow knight silk song was going to release within a year is i thought that this was like careful planning and that they had a target date and like once they said oh yeah june 12th it's gonna release within a year like they would have been like yo we got it we got a deadline we gotta hit this and uh you know what i'm 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 glad that that's not exactly how it went down because they're working on making the game to be the best that it possibly can be it's all the hope that i've got all right i'm I believe it, though. I honestly do. I honestly do believe that they are not going to release the game until it's ready. And I'm okay with that. And I hope that you are, too. We're not here to harass Team Cherry or be like, they need to hurry up and, and put out the game. But it is really, I don't know, it's relieving and it's interesting just to it kind of air out the room and figure out, like, what happened? What was the communication? How did this all go down? And it's, 
it's not what I originally imagined. I, I would Im think that the stuff that's going out on like an, an Xbox showcase or whatever else, like these are like more set in stone or there's more thought that's given to it. Um, I was, yeah, I was kind of really surprised when, when this interview happened and, uh, yeah, it was, it was so nonchalant. I, that's just like really, really interesting. It's interesting you know, because you started. never confirmed it. Right. And sure, right. my, my assumption from that, uh, I'm obviously going to let you share the Team Cherry perspective, I suppose, was that the way you guys do things is that you pro- Like, if I were you, I would probably want as much flexibility as I can, especially yeah. if I'm- Yeah, yeah, If I'm Team Cherry, and, you know, as they like to keep adding things and, you know, work on the game and have new ideas and, I don't know, you know. Um, yeah, you want to you that's true. You like and I've said that in the past that you want to you you don't really want to announce a date until you know for sure. So I agree that they don't want to announce a date before they're for sure ready, but I will push back on that and say that Simo is I would consider part of the team unless, unless he's not, but I feel like he's close enough to be able to I don't know, maybe maybe we was just reading way too much into this stuff and uh and I did it to myself. Uh maybe maybe I just I just wanted to believe too hard that Silk Song was for sure coming out within a year and I was just like trying to focus on all these little details, but you know what? That's I let myself down. I, th I think that's that's the realization I'm coming to as I as I make this video and kind of self reflect on on what happened and and what led us to this place. You know, this is something we were hoping to meet, but as the time drew closer, it was kind of like, okay, we need to let you know, we probably need to let folks know in some in some way, and and since we're not we weren't sure how widespread. Uh, I don't know if widespread is the right word, but how much people were really expecting it. Mm -hmm. We were kind of like, I was oh, expecting you know, it. Matt, since I'm kind of, I'm an official source for the team, you know, we don't, not everything comes out through my Twitter, but, um, you know, what I say can be taken as from the team. Mm -hmm. It's true. Uh, you know, I'll do a tweet and the people who are really paying attention, which are like the ones who would watch an E3 show and catch the june 12th thing they'll see they'll see my tweet and you know get the message and we did we did get the message um but it is good to know again that they were they were hoping to meet that time frame but it wasn't just it wasn't quite as like we have to make this time frame or they were like we're gonna crunch we're gonna we're gonna stop adding things so that way we can for sure make this time frame right maybe they did do that maybe they didn't i don't i don't know for sure but it it sounds like they're 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 doing what they do and they're, they're making great games and uh that's that's just exciting you know it's it's okay even this is just like a breath of fresh air and it feels it feels good to just get a a, a little little something something so i i don't know what else to say it just was something yeah. we had to do and and you know. at what point did you decide this was it like right before the uh Ooh. The, the the you announced it or was it something i mean obviously you would kind of have a feeling about it but like at what point did you and what's interesting is when i was listening to this interview i was kept thinking to myself i put out a video not even like 12 hours before talking about how we're almost certainly going to get hollow knight silk song at e3 or at the xbox game showcase because the e3 for 2023 was on june 11th which was the last day it was the day before the the last date right but it was the day before the deadline they were for sure gonna give us something whether it's a trailer or uh a release date or release date window or something um so i really commend uh leth and team cherry for for putting out something so that way we didn't get our hopes up to some enormous degree during e3 this year e3 2023 would have been really rough if we were just 
biting our nails at every single conference, every single announcement, just waiting for Silk Song, waiting for Silk Song. There were a lot less clown emojis during the live streams at E3, and and that was it was really nice to just know that we for sure weren't getting any news for a little bit. We could we could relax. Decide to not. Or to, you know, make that announcement, I suppose. Um, I don't know. It kind of was just, like, uh, in the conversation. Mm -hmm. And it was like, okay, time to do it. You know, it wasn't... The community yeah. was bubbling over and with anticipation. From, from the community side of things, we all really appreciated that. A lot of people, I mean, I don't think... We did. ...that many people really at that point believed that the game would come out. No, I believed. I fully believed that the game was going to come out. A hundred percent. I was in it. Ooh, it's funny looking back now. Joke's on me. Yeah, I will, well, I just want to assure everybody that the game is still in development. It's got to, it still has That's right. work to be done. Like I'm sure there's somebody team, out there who needs to hear that. working on it. It's... Game it's is still in development. Out. It exists. I don't Woo! know if there's some people who think it doesn't exist. It does. The game... For sure I started exists. Let's go. I playthrough earlier this week. Yeah, uh, look at the that. Game, so, another playthrough. You know, um... Must be nice. And, Must be nice. You know, I don't want to touch on that too much, but mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm playing the game. There's a game there. All <laughs> right. So. Well, it's good to know that it's still in development. And there was there was one more really cool little little piece of information from this interview, but we're gonna skip ahead a little bit. And honestly, this whole interview was really interesting to listen to. The beginning of it was definitely more based on Leth and his experience and background. Then it went into Hollow Knight, then Crow Sworn, and then Silk Song, and then some like background project that Leth, Leth is working on. So lots of really good stuff. The the initial interview was like three hours long. I was there for the entire thing. So good. So uh, I will leave all the links and stuff in the comments below for you to go check out the the full video um and definitely go check out blue sr he's a he's a speed runner over on twitch and does full 112 percent speed runs uh, just just mind blowing levels of like uh, goodness if you're if you're into hollow knight if you're in if you're into that kind of thing yeah the next news will will come directly from the team Ooh. I don't know where else it would come from. <laughs> no, directly from the <laughs> team. Yeah, right. Yeah. Is it yeah. not yeah. left? You're the only ones in the position to share anything. Uh well, yeah, that's not something I'm trying to do, though. You know. Yeah, <laughs> it's it makes like, sense. We, we've gone. That's interesting, we've right? Gone, like long enough without mm -hmm. uh, like a post where it's like, you know, the next one should be pretty exciting. Yeah. Mm. You know, next one should be uh, exciting that's what makes sense to me that's what makes yeah. sense I mean, to anything. me so uh, what i take from that is if that's what makes sense to leth and he's a marketing director i would be very surprised for team cherry not to take his advice for that to be the next push or the next way that we get information it'll come from internal which also leads me to believe that maybe we don't need to be holding our breath at every Nintendo Direct and every Xbox uh, showcase or what, whatever the event may be, maybe it's not coming from one of those events. Sounds like it's probably gonna come from directly from, from Team Cherry and from one of those posts. <laughs> So anyways, let me know if you found that video interesting. There, there was more information. I didn't go over the entire video or even every little bit of the Silk Song news. So please go check out Blue's video. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you're waiting for a release date uh, speculation from me, uh, if I had to guess, I'm holding out for early 2024 to maybe E3-ish uh, mid 2024. I don't think it's going to take as late as next holiday season, but hey, you never know. At this point, it's, it just feels like we'll get there when we get there. Thank you so much to my members. I really appreciate you. Again, my name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks. Bye.